Hi, welcome back to the PhotoshopTrainingChannel.com. I'm Jesus Ramirez. In this 90 second Photoshop tip, I'm going to show you how to quickly create vector mask. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to make a selection out of the object that you want to extract from the background. One of the ways that you can do that is by using the quick selection tool. Then from the options bar, you can click on the select subject button, which uses machine learning technology to make a selection out of the main subject or your image. In this case, Adobe Sensei, the artificial intelligence, does a really good job in making a selection. It's not perfect, but we can fine tune it. You can hold Alt on Windows, Option on the Mac, and click and drag to subtract from the selection. And you can simply click or click and drag on areas to add to the selection. The selection doesn't need to be perfect. Just make sure that you select all the main areas. Then when you have a selection that looks good to your eye, what you need to do is go into the path panel and click on this icon to make a work path out of the selection. If the work path has too many points like this one, then press Control Z, Command Z in the Mac to undo and hold Alt on Windows, Option in the Mac and click on the Make Work Path from Selection icon once again to get this window where you can enter a tolerance. I'll change mine from one pixel to three, press OK and notice that I now have fewer points on my work path. Work paths will make better vector mask when you have fewer points and still keep the shape of the object. What I'll do now is go back into the Layers panel and hold Control on Windows, Command on the Mac, and click on the Layer Mask icon to create a vector mask from the work path. I can then go into the Pen tool and nest it under it, you'll see the Curvature Pen tool. And that will allow me to select the point and hit the Backspace key on Windows. That's the Delete key on the Mac to delete the points that I don't need. And I can, of course, double click on the point to create a sharp corner and obviously click and drag on a point and move it. What you need to do now is simply delete the points that you don't need, click and drag on the points that you do need and try to get a better alignment to the edge of your object. This is what my mask looks like after a few minutes of adjusting it. If you're still not quite sure what a vector mask is or how it works, then check out my video on smooth selections. It's basically a complete guide on vector masks. So you'll find out what they are, how they work and how you can create them. I'll place a link right below in the description. You can check it out right after this video. If this is your first time at the Photoshop training channel, then don't forget to click on that subscribe and notification button so that you don't miss any new Photoshop tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again in the next video.